folks, JD here, and today we're going to be taking the EX1 back up. Oh, I like this guy a lot. Now, last time as you saw, we took him up with GPS, flew him around, had a whale of a time. I really like this guy a lot. Today we're going to be taking it up on altitude hold mode. Not using GPS, using its altitude hold only, and see exactly how it flies. Um, now I'm hoping it's going to be really well, I'm, I'm wanting it to be really well. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is putting it down on the mat, turning her on, not calibrating her other than gyro, uh, and then taking her straight up. And hopefully, she's going to be a good one. Okay, so now, let's just turn her on. She is all on, nice and solid. Let's turn on the transmitter, give her two seconds to bind. There we are, she's bound, there we are, totally bound and ready to go. Now, don't forget, we've got to push up this little lever here, all the way to the top. So past GPS and beyond. And that then should hopefully allow us to take her up into altitude hold mode. So what I'm going to do is just pop in this little camera on the top of her. Same position as what we did last time. And that should be, there we are, that's nice and solid for her at the top there. And she's still equally spaced. Yeah, there we are, nothing's touching any propellers. We are safe. Okay, and with that, let's get back to a safe distance and then let's take this guy up. There we go. And then we should just be able to push upwards and up she goes <laughs> and there she is she is up she is running but this is don't forget this is with altitude hold mode this is not GPS and yes okay she's drifting a little bit but all in all I think that is quite good let's bring her back look at that remarkably good remarkably good so with this let's take her out a little bit now we're on we are a standard in high mode so I'm not going to be, uh, I'm going to change this down actually to low mode to begin with and just see how she does. This is low mode and here she goes, just flying around the place. Absolutely loving it. Absolutely loving it. Oh, this is such a good copter. I really do like this guy. I really do like this guy indeed. All right, let's move him around. Oh. Altitude hold mode feels really rigid, really stiff, really good. It doesn't feel as if, I, it actually feels the same as if I'm working in GPS mode. It doesn't feel as if I'm just using, just using the barometer and nothing else. Oh yes, I like this guy a lot. So remarkably good. Right, let's take him out a little bit. Let's turn him around. Let's bring him back to me. <laughs> oh yes. This guy keeps on surprising me, really keeps on surprising me. Oh, yes. Just so nice. Just, just flying around really nice and gently. And then high mode, bam, in she is, in she goes. A bit more erratic, her corners are a little bit more, a little bit, more, a little bit tighter. But all in all, she is really. Oh, we've got battery flash, we've got battery flash. Oh. <laughs> Look at that! That's extraordinary! Even in altitude hold mode only, which I am, look, altitude hold mode, I'm up all the way. As soon as you hit 19% battery, she takes herself home. GPS kicks in and she does return to home. Look, I am, I am totally 100% serious. That is absolutely remarkable. I have never, ever, ever known a quadcopter that wasn't in, uh, it wasn't in GPS mode to be taking itself home. Now obviously it's using its GPS now to ride itself down, but considering it was actually just configured, look, still it's up in the, th up in the highest point. It's using altitude hold mode, but yet it's taking itself home. Look. That's just astonished me. In altitude hold mode, I did not expect when it got down to its 19% or 20% battery level for it to be taking itself home via GPS. There was a split moment because I was in altitude hold. I thought it was just, it was gone. I don't know, you know, there was just that moment of fear. I was like, oh no, once again. <laughs> I had no idea that in altitude hold mode, as soon as, that, as soon as it reaches that 20%, it just brings itself home via GPS. This guy just keeps on getting better and better. I, I have not come across, maybe some of you have, but I personally haven't come across a quadcopter with GPS capability, riding in altitude hold mode only, in barometer only, not GPS satellite. I haven't cut calibrated this for GPS today at all so it was just going by its last quarter its first coordinates when it was turned on um, and just for it to bring itself home via GPS and you saw exactly how stable that was that wasn't altitude hold uh, that couldn't have been altitude hold um, well 
this sec this revisit has just blown me away. Absolutely blown me away. Um, I hope it has you too as well, folks. So I'll tell you what, with that, I think I'll end up there. Thanks ever so much for watching and listening, folks. I've been JD. You've been fantastic as always. If you haven't already, please subscribe and give us a like. Hello and welcome to all the new subscribers. I hope you're enjoying the channel. So until next time, my friends, happy flying.